Let's catch up on this workbench project. So I got working on the workbench back in March just before we went into quarantine. I decided to use this wall hanging design because we get a lot of water infiltration into the garage and I wanted to keep the wood up and off the floor. One thing I really had to do though was patch the concrete because it was just really messing up my back working on that gnarly surface. I only had two bags of concrete. We were in lockdown, so I just did the best I could with what I had on hand. All right, so the idea of relying just on the studs seemed a little weak, so I added a bunch of two x four cutoffs to add a lot more mass to the wall. Then I'll get a nice ledger board screwed in here. And ultimately what I'll do is I'll put six inch lag screws into the angle brackets, through the ledger, and into that wall cavity that I've stacked with two by fours. These cedar posts were just scrap after I had made a fence project. With some boiled linseed oil, it, they really pop and look nice. I felt like the wall hanging design could benefit from some steel supports. So I'm just cutting up a bunch of this steel to make uh, angle brackets and, and mending plates to give it a more stiff, stout feel. I've tried to get in the habit of not filming uh, the initial arc from the welder straight on. I'm using a fireball square to make that 45 degree angle on that angle bracket. One of these brackets I took outside and did some uh, hammering on to give it kind of that blacksmith look. And the other one I left as just a clean polished piece of metal. And then melting some beeswax on there as a finish. This workbench is starting to feel really stout now. Me, on the other hand, I'm still working on that fifth pull up. Top is pretty simple. I'm not going to be wailing on this, so I figured I'd keep it relatively simple with just two by fours braced together kind of wedged in on the top here, cut to length, and call it a day. I wanted to keep some of the open bays between the studs available to just put stuff in, so this is a patchwork of French cleat, bench top, I've got my little half moon shelf there too. And here's everything built out. Pay attention to the walnut articulated arm tablet mount there. That's how I'm gonna make this workbench turn into a desk. I found this oak in the trash. I'm not sure if it was part of an old pallet or something, but it cleaned up really nice as just a little piece of the French cleat tool wall. I really like the facets on the, on the end of the dowels there. There's my iPad. I can pull up the wireless keyboard and a mouse and it, it functions actually really nicely as a makeshift workstation. First thing I needed to do before welding was grind the zinc off of the washer and the nut.
I needed the strength of the 3 8 rod in there, and then I worked that down to quarter 20 to attach it to the articulated arm. Here I'm getting it all uh, tightened up here. And there we go. My garage workbench slash office. We're not gonna stress, not gonna make a mess. The past eight months has been so full of profound moments. My kids growing up and having the time together under the same roof to just be with each other. Being conscious of how fleeting and rare this time is. Preparing for the impending long cold winter working in one location through the seasons, but reveling in the newness of summer and of new puppies and kids growing up and having the time, the time for solitude, the time for preparation has been absolutely something I am so grateful for.